Hello YouTube, it's Herp Derp here, and uh, I'm actually in an embarrassing state of having failed my last vault hack, which is not something that happens to me very frequently. I blame lag. Anyway, so we are here in another Spy Vault series, and I'm going to go ahead and I believe this is the absolute last vault we have to do for the corpus. You're the and I will call this Trigger vault the, the uh, I don't know, the Mountain Path Vault. Mountain Path sounds good because it's all about it's all about going up in this vault. So the first thing you have to do is you have to walk in and there's a painfully obvious button that turns off all the lasers that would obviously make the vault completely impossible to do. And I'm not sure that that alarm going off actually means anything. Anyway, any rate, so as you can hear in the background, hopefully, there are a lot of lasers and a lot of cameras in this vault. And every time you go through it, there's a different path available to you. So there's always going to be a path around the, the right side, a path around the left side, and a path around the back. But generally you want to go over the top. Now the backs, there's basically six areas. There's a main area, and then there's a two by three grid around it. So it looks like uh, what we have available to us this time to solve the puzzle is... Oh, they blocked off that door. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and check around back and see what may be available. So that, that's the way you solve this vault, is you have to check out a puzzle each time. Aha! Here's the room. So yeah, so the back the back set of three rooms has should have cameras on both levels. So you don't want to ever drop down to the lower level. If you do have a, an enemy follow you up, you up and knock you down to the lower, lower level, generally you cannot get back up top fast enough to finish the vault. So we're going to go through there and be done with this pretty rapidly. There we go. Excellent work. Finally, I can hack this time. With no Yeah, as you can see, that camera's in there. Get to extraction. Oh, hang on. I'm being rushed. I can be cheeky. My lasers. There we go. All right. Anyway. So yeah, so as you can see here, there's also a little path that drops you down. I would not recommend you try and take the drop-down path, because then you have to try and shoot not only the not only the camera that's down here, but also the camera that's up there from down below, and the upper the upper path is always going to be easier. But sometimes it's, you don't even have the option of taking that, uh, that path there. Sometimes, for example, I've seen where these, these windows here are open, but that window right there is closed, and so then... The most difficult, the most difficult I've seen this vault get involves. Uh, oops, I missed that. Like I said, it, it gets very, it gets very difficult. Once, once you've fallen down, it gets very difficult to get back up in time to finish the vault. So yeah, so the most difficult I've seen the vault be was where the only possible way to get Corpus into it was to make to this location. jump right here, go through that grating, and get into the room. That's yes, but that's that's basically all the worse it gets. So anyway, that's, that, those are my instructions for you: is are to wander around the top half of this vault and uh, find a path. Don't be afraid if you can't find a path on one side to just hop down, go check the other side, hop up there, and see what you can find over there, because you never know. And the other side, whoa! And the other side might be easier, like in this example where if you Make that little jump there. You could just walk straight into the room if that door was open, which it's not. All right. So yeah, this this is a pretty self-explanatory vault, but uh, it was the very last one in the, this Corpus series, so I felt like it needed some, some talking about. That's all I got for you today. Peace out, YouTube. Perfect.